get this fucking thing rolling. So, and now this is kind of a topic I would talk about on um, electroshock theater, but I felt it was better suited in the insanity chamber due to the fact that it kind of does affect me a bit. And um, it is an artistic subject, um, and I will just reach down here because I didn't fucking prep properly. And, um, you know, you go to uh, any uh, newsstand or anything like that and some website, and you'll find, uh, you know, magazines like these. You know, right now I got Skin Inc., uh, June 09, and uh, Rebel Inc., which I believe is June 09 as well. Yeah, July 09. Um, and these are tattoo magazines. And now, tattoos are very artistic. Uh, not only uh, artistically, but, uh, you know, they, a lot of them, you know, not a lot of tattoos, but there is a lot of cultural undertones in, in, in tattooing. Uh, some cultures still see it as uh, only for criminals. And some people see it as the, you know, see your flesh as the ultimate canvas. So, with that being said, now right now, I'll, I'll just show you guys, I am not inked at all. Um, not inked. Um, I would pull up my back, but you know, you get the idea. I don't have any ink on me. I have one piercing up here. Um, body modification is, is a great art form. Uh, it can be highly addictive, um, just the thrill of it. But um, I was told about seven, eight years ago by, um, by an artist, uh, who, well, by, by a great artist in Jersey um, who said to me, I showed him two designs. And those are the two um, that I'll get to in a bit, but there were two designs I showed him. And he goes, wow, these are actually pretty good. It beats the tribal shit that they've been doing lately. Da, da, da. Just kind of dates this conversation a bit. But, you know, tribals are still kind of a big thing. But they're very simplistic, very the. Uh, but basically um, what he said to me was, would you be able to live with those? Would you be able to live with those tattoos? And it got me thinking. Um, I thought at the time, sure, I could live with those. Yeah, it's no problem. But, um same time, he said, what you do, take those designs, put them away. In a year's time, look at them again, would you still want them? Forget that you, you forget about these designs, just, you know, and then a year later, look at them, would you still want them? Well, um, it's eight years later, seven, eight years later, I still want these designs, and let me get into these designs real quick. Um, some of you guys may be familiar with a uh, role-playing game called Vampire the Masquerade. Woo! <laughs> Big surprise here, you know, but um, Vampire the Masquerade is uh, probably one of the best uh, role-playing game paper and dice um, out there. Um, at the time, it was um, it was still in the old world of darkness. It's not the, it's not the new world of darkness in which the game is set in now, but it was the old world of darkness, and you had two sects of vampires, essentially. There was a third, but we'll get into that real quick. Um, you had the Camarol, which were essentially the good vampires, who uh, believed in preserving the masquerade, keeping their existence secret. That's the way it is. Then you had the Sabbat. The Sabbat were the quote-unquote evil vampires, and uh, the evil vampires... Uh, you know, basically, they were like, we're fucking immoral. <laughs> we run shit. This is how it goes. Uh, they didn't care about breaking the masquerade or anything like that. Um, essentially. You know, it's just a basic version of it. Well, they had two symbols. Each of them technically had an Ankh. Uh, you had the Camarilla Ankh and the Sabat Ankh. The Camarilla being more of a traditional Ankh and the Sabat Ankh being an inverted... Um, really twisted looking onk, um, which I kind of, uh, you know, I kind of interpreted, and everything's up for interpretation, you know, in this world, whether it's artistic or not, so uh, what I interpreted it as is the Camarilla being a traditional onk would represent your eternal life, 
it would represent eternal life, period. Now, the Sabbat Ankh, which is inverted, would represent your eternal, which would, which would, uh, res uh, which would uh, represent eternal death. Now, I'm a man who believes in balance, uh, who believes in duality, so uh, if I were to get one, I would have to get the other, only because it would be that balance, that balance between eternal life and eternal death. You know, that's just the way it would be. And I felt that way, and I felt that way for a long time. I still feel that way. Uh, I have a big, strong thing on duality. That's a different episode, though. And, um, and uh, probably when I get into duality, I'll talk a little bit about Project Dan Peel, my, uh, the ongoing series I've been writing and haven't published a fucking word of it yet. So, yay me. So, basically... It's been many years since those designs, uh, I came across those designs I liked, and I still like them. Uh, I, I do plan on getting them done, and um, tattooing, as I said, can be an addiction. Um, I'm already thinking about what I can add around those, so it's not a great situation, you know, but at the same time, um, you know, where I am now, if you guys don't know, I currently do reside in South Carolina, and uh, the area I live in just pretty much made tattooing legal. However, um, the big issue with the tattoo parlors around here, uh, I'm not saying everyone's like this because I don't want to get slammed with a libel or anything like that, but from what I've been hearing, uh, the good shops are being shut down, and the unsavory shops are, um, are staying around which don't do the best artwork or anything like that. And also there's been um, word of an influx of a certain disease, um, which is associated with, uh, with blood, um, which, you know, of course, if you're getting tattooed, there's going to be blood. So, um, and that being a form of hepatitis, which uh, isn't something that should be taken lightly. So when I do get these done, I plan on going back to that same shop that uh, I talked to this gentleman, and he told me that, uh, you know, not, not just because, you know, out of respect for him and everything like that, because, yes, it was great words of wisdom he did give me, but mostly because the work in his shop was top fucking notch. I love the work that his shop produced. Uh, my mother has a piece done by them. My brother got a piece done by them. Uh, it's only fair that I get a piece, or two pieces, <laughs> rather, done by them. Uh, I, I knew many people that got, that, uh, that got work done uh, from that shop. So it is, in my, in my circle, anyway, highly reputable. Of course, I know people that got work done in other shops, and some of it was good, some of it was, was, wasn't. But everything that's come out of this one shop has been fucking amazing. So anyway, basically, tattooing is an art form that... Um, where you use your body as the canvas. Um, it's permanent, sort of. Uh, you can have it removed, but whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, you be safe, stay artistic, and of course, long live the new flesh. Balls in here. Balls. Fuck. <laughs> God damn. I, I think the next episode I'm gonna take off my shirt. And just